Hello, and welcome to video two of the Google My Maps video tutorials for Forted Miss School. As you can see here, this is the Google Maps homepage. We've seen this before, so you'll remember that we need to click on My Maps. This time things are different because we've already started something. If you go to the Created by Me content, you can just click on the one that you want to see. So I want to see video tutorial and then click edit. This brings you back to the map and gives you some options. Here we have is a screen. This will give you some mapping and what you've got is some options along the top. You've got map which gives it as a standard road map, satellite and terrain. Now my favourite is satellite because this gives you a satellite image of the area that you're going to be looking at. This makes it much easier to locate things because you might not know the road names but be able to recognise what it looks like. We've also got some arrow keys. If you click up, it moves the image up, down, moves down, left, moves left and right, moves right. You've also got centre. This centres it to the original point. You've also got a zoom scroller. So if you click the plus, it will zoom in a little bit. This is really useful for fine tuning, as the minus will zoom it out again. But if you want to use much bigger strokes and zooms, you can use the scroller along here. I'm going to zoom in very close. Now what's happened is I've zoomed in a little bit too close, and so it's told me not to. I'll just follow this and zoom out again. Now to zoom into a specific place, I can just go to the search bar along here and enter a postcode. If you want to do the Fortismere School, I suggest you enter N10-1NH. I've used this because it is actually very, very close to the school. Now if you click zoom in, you can get closer. And there you are, you can see the school grounds. So I'll just zoom in again with the scroll this time. And there we are. I'm going to do my map around the school ground. And so I'm going to base it here. So the way that I do this is I will use some of these options. You have the hand tool, which means that you can move it around like this. You have the place marker tool. We'll get to that later. As we will with the drawing a line, distance measuring tool, and the shape and image tool. First of all, I'm going to talk about centering my map. Because we're going to be doing it around the school, I'm going to centre it to Southwind. So I'm going to click Add a Place Mark and just add it there, because that's where I'm going to centre it. I will then use this and call it Sports. You can just quite simply go this is where we do PE lessons. This is very useful to, to text. We just click OK and you have a place mark. Now if you right click on this, it's going to give you some options. Now what I want to do, because this is where I'm going to centre my map, is come down to the bottom one where it says centre map here. That means that that's my centre of my map. So if I zoom out and move across, if I click this centre tool, it will bring me back to this area. So let's zoom back in and carry on. 